I always wanted to be a musician. I always wanted to be a singer. I dreamed of singing since I was a child and never did it. I was terrified. And I came out of the ceremony and the message was so clear. I needed to go into the studio and record. And I walked up to the microphone and I opened my mouth and a voice came out of me that I did not have before. And I had skills on the guitar that I did not have before. Were you just like looking at your hands going, what's happening what the, here? Yeah, and, I st and that still happens to me. Welcome to Plancendence, the podcast where we talk to people about their most significant psychedelic experiences and how those experiences profoundly changed their lives. Hi, I'm John Reese. I'm a filmmaker. I started out in a punk rock documentary collective, and I've made films about electronic music and street art around the world. I began my own plant medicine journey four years ago when I was looking for a way to get out of some mental ruts I had fallen into. My own experimentation with various plants proved to be radically life-altering, for the better. And so I wanted to start a podcast in which I could talk with artists, experts, teachers, and healers who'd also experienced similar transformations to see what we could all learn about the way plants, fungi, and other substances can heal and expand our minds, bodies, and souls. I knew nothing about psychedelics or drugs. I wasn't drinking coffee. We have the inventor of microdosing, Dr. James Fadiman. And my favorite undergraduate professor, Richard Alpert, came over to Europe and he said, the greatest thing in the world has happened to me. So he reached into his breast pocket and took out a little bottle of pills. Artist Chor Boogie. I just felt like I was unplugged from the matrix and just a whole new person. Like, I didn't want to put anything bad on my body ever again. U.S. Army veteran Itzel Barakat. When I'm having this 5-MEO experience, I'm like, well, let her rip that. Just get it out. And it was all the grief that I had been holding from the loss of my father, from the loss of my mentor. I was carrying all of this grief like a bookcase on my back. And I was like, it's time to let it go. Artist Doris Lafrenet. I flew back to Paris and told my husband, I'm leaving you. And th four months later, I was in L.A. with my son. And that was, that was it. Author and healer Spring Washam, who talks about creating the Spirit Underground Church in Georgia. I was looking at some property and there was these black farmers and they said, well, you guys could buy land here, but you need to know there's a huge clan stronghold, which is something that we want to heal. Land has spirit and it it's, can be transformed. Thanks for checking out Plantscendence. You can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you choose to listen. We hope you join us on our journey.